Greetings viewers, uh, this video is primarily to respond to a bit of disinfo that's it's come out on a YouTube video put out by someone called uh, Your Future News and it's based on this uh, disinfo article that's been spreading around the internet for the last week or so. Uh, it's titled, Will Nuke Iran? Bush Promises Israel. Um, now, I mean the video, you know, it's not someone talking, it's, a, it's like a video clip from a montage. It has numerous pictures of uh, Bush in various poses, such as that fairly famous one of him touching his heart in front of the Israeli flag. I mean, gee, who provided that photo <laughs> Um And, yeah, and it, and it reads out the article in, in text form. And, like, it ends up with a bit of thrash music playing and a big mushroom cloud from some nuclear test that either the Soviet Union or the United States would have carried out, not Israel, <laughs> with a big Jewish star of David in the middle. You know, the implication being that Israel's this deadly nuclear threat and it's a threat to world peace, blah, 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 blah. But get, getting aside from all that, um, if you actually look at the article itself, um, it's just, it, it really is blatant disinfo. Um, like it, comes, it supposedly comes from the source is supposedly wire services. <laughs> it says, US President George W. Bush promised Israel's opposition leader, Benjamin Netanyahu, that the United States will join the Jewish state in a nuclear strike against Iran, Israel Radio reported today. Um, and it goes on, it says, I told him my position and Bush agreed, Netanyahu told Israel Radio. During their 45-minute meeting at King David Hotel in Jerusalem, Netanyahu also told Bush that Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish people and will remain under Israeli sovereignty for eternity. And then it has some of Bush's comments on the recent Strait of Hamas incident and so on and so forth. Um, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> A lot. Okay. For a start, the story is supposedly sourced from wire services. There's no such thing. No such thing as wire services. It doesn't exist as an organisation. It was supposedly reported by Israel Radio, but it wasn't. And why would Bush be saying all this to an Israeli opposition leader and not Israel's Prime Minister? Or Prime Miniature, I should say. <laughs> Netanyahu supposedly said, Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish people and will remain under Israeli sovereignty for eternity. I mean, for eternity? I mean, that rhetoric's just a little bit too crude and obvious, even for Netanyahu particularly when talking to, you know, the President of the United States. And if this story were true, it would cause an international scandal, but it hasn't. And also, to the best of my knowledge, uh, the Iranian press isn't running this story, and, you know, why aren't they? <laughs> oh, you know, it would provide them with an enormous amount of political capital if it were true, but they're not doing it. <laughs> um, at the time of, of me uh, producing this video, doing a search on Google, it came up with about 29 hits. And if you take the filters off, it comes up with um, you know, about 800 hits. Demonstrating that there's been some very busy little Jew haters and misguided what I call pseudo-truth seekers who have been busy lapping this stuff up, believing it, and then quite irresponsibly promoting it. Um, what's particularly annoying is that, you know, apart from being obviously designed to malign the Israelis, it also distracts from the very real criminality of the Israeli establishment, which has nothing to do with threatening their neighbours or oppressing the Arabs or anything like that. The, the, the real criminality of the Israeli leaders, the Israeli establishment, is that they are hiding from the Israeli people such things as the, the genocidal Nazi origins of, of Israel's enemies, <laughs> and, the, and they're collaborating with Israel's enemies. Uh, there's much evidence for that. I, I provide you know some links in the, in the description column. Um, as for this uh, Your Future News character, um, well, I don't really know anything about him except, you know, if you go to his, uh, go to his YouTube homepage and, and look at some of his videos. Judeo-Bolshevik murderers of the Russian royal family. Will Zionist owned Federal Reserve Bank kill Ron Paul. Real ID card, a Zionist spy ring. Um, and on it goes, it's all Zionist Zion. <laughs> Here's a good one. Bolshevism from Moses to Lenin. Now, I don't really want to engage in ad hominem, so I won't, you know, spend too much time laughing at some of this stuff. Um, I'll deal with these other bits of disinfo in due course. Um, but it does tend to suggest that your future news didn't just accidentally, you know, spread this nonsense. Um, if he's not a Jew hater, he comes pretty close. 
um, and certainly is serving very much an anti-Jewish agenda. Um, so I hope he wakes up, that I'm not going to hold my breath for that. But uh, the, the best I can do is, you know, inform other people who might be prone to believe this sort of thing. Because it's understandable. There's a lot of anti-Semitism in the world and the, you know, the anti-Semitic propaganda machine is actually really quite sophisticated and is being largely, you know, promoted by the mainstream media, not the alternatives, ones like this. But anyway, uh, check out the links. As you'll see, they're evidence-based. Um, and just as a general rule, when when studying these articles, which claim, particularly when they claim to be of a truth-seeking nature, check the sources, check the analysis, check the logic, look for look for absurdities embedded within them, um, because the so-called truth-seeking community is severely compromised by disinfo, not just on Israel, but on a lot of things. Um, so anyway. Anyway, uh, I hope you check this out because it is nonsense and uh, we've got to stop relying on nonsense. Catch us round.